Hey guys, Diecast and Lego here, coming to you with the sort of long-awaited brand new city update video with the much larger city. And we're in the new portion of the city. So you can see, this is an all new table. A lot of the stuff kind of here is similar. We have this red building here. But a lot of this is under construction, as you can see, we have trucks offloading, setting up some heavy equipment. Got an old car there, that's gonna have to go sometime. But anyway, what's gonna be in here is actually the Dacast and Lego headquarters building. So it's gonna be a big warehouse, maybe two stories. Anyway, moving along here, we have a uh, little, again, this thing got customized even more. Now it can go on the rails. Throughout here, we have like the construction inlet. These guys are bringing in boards to lay down the uh, form to pour in some concrete and make a crossing so you can get into the warehouse. And the warehouse is actually going to take up most of this space around here. Maybe there'll be some parking. Definitely need parking in the city. Uh, not a lot is going on over here. There's just going to be mild industrial buildings around here and it'll be just like some low to the ground buildings, big industrial stuff, not necessarily taller buildings like in the downtown areas of the city. Maybe two, three stories maximum. Definitely one story big buildings. Um, there's kind of a, a display for advertising these sodas in the truck. Again, the city's kind of a mess right now. So much is being changed. Uh, roads, just gonna be over here. We got the Octon section, the repair station. Looks like there's some aliens. And this is, I started staging some stuff, but it's still kind of a mess. Here's the controller for the trains. Um, there's gonna be like the gas pump and stuff over here. There were tire racks, but the track kind of shifts around, so I'm gonna have to put something else there. Uh, this is just storage. This isn't actually part of the city. Uh, over here, you guys saw this in the time lapse. Again, if you haven't, uh, check it out. It'll be on my channel and possibly in the description. Uh, we got some some ponds here. This seems to be more heavily used by like swimmers and fishers. There's less stuff. This guy caught something. He's just enjoying the view. And we got some ninjas in training over here. Now, as you can see, the police and highway patrol are stopping traffic. This guy's having to turn around. Now, the reason for that is uh, the production of a movie right now. So, as I was talking about earlier uh, with gear, I'm actually starting out to be a, a filmmaker, and my two big passions in life right now are Lego and filmmaking. So not only do I have this YouTube channel where I make videos about Lego, but I, I thought that I'd actually recreate some cinema-style equipment in Lego. So you can see we have a, a track-mounted dolly here with some light setups. This You really wouldn't use that in a movie theater or a, a movie-style setting but got some flags and scrims blocking off light uh, so we don't get weird shadows on the actor in the uh, behind the trees and it looks like we're running a DSLR shot also and uh, some other big stuff there is the raptor tracks with the jib that's just there parked um, got a, a van with some stuff here's our, our little video village there this guy looks like he's attaching a big zoom lens to a um, another jib now, if you want to see more of any of this in the city just drop a comment down saying you want to see more and I'll try to fit it in uh, I got the trailer here again this is my gyro balanced jib not that good for oh came off uh, not that good for if you're doing stop motions, which I want to get back into, because um, it's it moves around a lot, but this is really fun. It is, I mean, it is gravity based. This is on a on a track to move from forward to back, and I mean that is the Raptor tracks. More videos to come. A uh, little Ford Transit also. Just that's all the movie theater. Uh, keep saying movie theater. All the mo movie production stuff. Got the Boise Fry Company here. That's still not a lot has changed on the inside. Um, kind of little desert and some baby witch or something, I don't know. Uh, got the farm over here. As you can see, it's kind of blended from industrial area 
to more rural and suburban life. Again, there's a there's a farm, and uh, I try to blend nature. And there's going to be some like smaller places, possibly houses around here. There's going to be a decent amount of space for fields. I may actually even move this building over there, move all of this over there, and give more kind of farm space. I don't know. Um, I do want to find a place for this somewhere. This is my oil derrick. Uh, does work. Couldn't manage to get power functions in it, but it looks it looks pretty good. Works well. Uh, this is kind of just a mess right now. We got the train here, and let me know what you guys think. I'm there. The road does as of now. It goes across here, and this is eventually going to be a water area. All that stuff. Uh, this is going to be like over over the water, a bridge. But I'm thinking about building a removable section, because you are supposed to walk in through here. But I'm thinking about building a removable section to go here, like a bridge to save down on a road. Of course, I'll still go that way, but it won't be over so many level crossings, so I can use these elsewhere, because uh, it's hard to get these pieces, and kind of costly also. Uh, so let me know what you think down in the comments a little train station here and now we start to get into the main downtown urban areas as you can see there's a, a ramp up here like it, I wanted some terrain in the city there's gonna be a wall on this side this helicopter none of these helicopters or anything is in here that's just there because it need to get moved around I've uh, got all of the sig figs that I have in here if you want to have me uh, make a sig fig for you or send your sig fig to me. Just let me know on Instagram. I'll try to build your sig fig um, Looks like Jang bricks was trying to uh, Bus jump Just like brick designs and it didn't really work. He's hanging on for dear life uh, Over here. We got the little roundabout and again Really really need road plates. That's a that's a big thing for me getting road plates uh, got the bank and the rock school building in here some public art and road is gonna go like this this is gonna be two lane that's gonna be a one-way just back alley some stuff back there may even I'm still thinking about the the design of the whole city but this might even be foot traffic only and just parking uh, we got a police situation here some of the guys fell over but uh, from the show Hawaii 5 or the the new remake of the old show Got some of the guys recognizable in there, if you were to see their faces. And got the the slammed Jetta there. Again, people have fallen over. This part's really messy. Kind of similar to the old city. Um, of course, all, all the changes were over there when I just built all those tables. This is just extended. Um, got the fire station, all that stuff. Police station. I did redo the ambulance a little bit, so it's smaller and more compact so it actually fits through the driveway didn't do that before and it looks more like an ambulance less like I don't know something weird a uh, city hall question mark this is just a random old looking building I don't know if it is gonna be the city hall I would like to get some of the modulars some of the new ones at the movie theater um, this is my house down at the end uh, brothers this is I don't know what I'm gonna do here there's a shop on the bottom all of this is taken as you all know it's in the set but uh, there's two empty floors. I'm thinking of doing apartments in there. And then there's either going to be another modular or definitely going to be parking spaces here. It's the downtown area, kind of, you know, people can park and walk around where they need to do. Or uh, take a bus. Or if they can get to the train, take the train. I just didn't want to have the, the train up here. Um, in case you're wondering in terms of size of the tables, these two here are 8 feet by 30 inches. And each uh, base plate is 10 by 10 so it's three base plates here by however many I don't know and then these here are two base plates going around and uh, but yeah that's the city so far again more updates to come more videos I'm finally getting back into Lego YouTube trying to make videos as much as possible I've just had a crazy schedule lately been busy working um, as I said, I am becoming a filmmaker, so I'm starting work on a full-scale film that's really fun, but at the same time, huge time consumer and a pain in the butt. Uh, 
If you do want to check us out, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Also Vimeo, Deco Visuals. That's D-E-K-K-O Visuals. Uh, we'd appreciate the support and if you guys check out our videos. Um, but yeah, that's the city so far. More changes to come. If you have any ideas or suggestions for something that you want to see in the city or something that could be changed a little bit, again, leave it in the comments.